a true amplifier should not be a tone control. It shouldn't have all this weird effects to it or anything. It should merely be a multiplier. And in class A mode, it is in its purest state of what it's doing. When we decided to do the Gen 2 version of the XPA-1, obviously we were going to take what our customers are requested, which was the Class A drive that we put into its little brother, the XPA-1L. When we talked about adding the Class A, at first it seemed simple on the surface, but when you look at the actual overall design of how that amp works and what made that amp what it was, we didn't want to lose that. Adding Class A is going to increase the thermal noise floor and when that happens you lose your dynamic range and that's that background hiss you hear when you get really get close to the tweeters so it actually became this whole thing where we had to reevaluate the whole topology of the amp we had to look at it how it worked we had to look at what made that amp great to begin with and keep it but yet make it better so we can make it class a and that was the design we changed out the differential drive, the VAS stage, the current sources that you get the cross-link current sources. It's a whole new package or it's a whole new deal from the start. Even the power supply caps are custom designed just for us to be ultra quiet. And that's how we were able to make the XPA-1 into the Gen 2 with Class A, but still keeping under the same philosophy of what made the original one great. Now, the way the circuitry works is it, the amplifier has the ability to produce a lot more energy than that. It can actually go well above 1.2 kilowatts. So as long as the signal that's being fed through there is within a certain realm, it'll produce 60 watts of class A all the time. If a good hard shot comes through or you turn the volume up beyond a certain point, it will automatically transition from class A into class AB and you'll never even know the difference. It's sonically in, imperceptible. In fact, you can't even measure it on, a, on a, one of our systems that we have here. So in that regard, you get actually the best of both worlds. You get this beautiful Class A that's warm and sweet and highly detailed. And when you really want to get on it, you don't even know it. It just takes care of it. It just automatically switches into Class A, B at the higher levels. And it's just fun. It's just an enjoyment to listen to. What makes the Gen 2 with the Class A, Class AB switch special is actually, in my opinion, three things. First off, we brought you the same quality and greatness from the, very, from the original design. Second, you have the ability to actually switch it in and out of Class A. Most amplifiers, if you go buy one from virtually any other company, it is one or the other. We actually give you the ability to change that on the fly to your particular taste and likes of the day. And the third, we brought it in at virtually the same cost as what we did in the original design. So it's still the most high, in my opinion, the most high value monoblock you'll ever find.